Good morning and happy Monday, October 4th. Well, we're out of September and into October. Baseball playoffs are starting and the stock market kind of went eh during September, huh? Don't look at your 401k statements. The ups and downs may give you a heart attack. Britney Spears won her conservatorship. And uh, Captain Kirk is going to space. He'll be trekking around the stars with Jeff Bezos. So let's get to today's topic. Last week we talked about the Medicare Advantage plans and the prescription drug plans. Well today, let's look more specifically at the Medicare Advantage plans and the sales process. In the sales process, there's something called the Scope of Appointment form. This is a form that you, the customer, has to fill out. The agent has to fill it out too. It basically says, these are the only things we can talk about during an appointment. Medicare Advantage plans, prescription drug plans, uh, drug cards, dental vision plans and indemnity plans. Guess what? I can't sell you a $54,000 driveway. In the sales process, you should be receiving a full brochure. So make sure you get that, whether it's downloaded to you or handed to you. In the brochure, it's going to give you basically an outline of coverage, which is going to explain to you the premiums, the co-pays, your maximum out of pocket, the fact that you'll have a drug card built into your Medicare Advantage prescription drug card plan and any of the ancillary coverages that it may include or may be available to you. The brochure should also have a segment in there on some of the more common medications and what tiering they fall into. So you know the formularies can be different per plan within an insurance company and differ per insurance company and help determine which plan has the best formulary and unfortunately, Joe, that might mean you have to pay a little bit more than that zero premium because your medications need to be covered. So we take a look at the total program, not just specifically a zero premium and zero copay. You know, with that in mind, looking things up, you need to look up your provider. Most Medicare Advantage plans are predicated on an HMO. Some have a PPO. The PPOs tend to actually cost you money. Joe doesn't tell you that. We need to make sure that your doctor is in the network. That is one of the greatest levels of dissatisfaction, not having your doctor in network. Make sure that the agent tells you and presents to you documentation that your doctor is in network, or you need to be willing to change to a doctor in network. And you know, another thing that the brochure has is the star rating of the insurance company. The star rating can be one to five, five being the best. So make sure that you receive the star rating from the insurance. The policy will be effective January 1 during open enrollment which is October 15th to December 7th will be effective January 1 unless you're in your initial enrollment period or you have a special enrollment period that allows you to have a date other than January 1. Now, let's briefly talk about ancillary coverages. Ancillary coverages are something such as a health program, very commonly it's silver sneakers, dental and vision, uh, hearing benefits. They really shouldn't be talked about during the sales process. They really don't want us talking about that because that's something that can confuse the issue and the issue is the real meat of the Medicare Advantage plan. Once you get your paperwork, look into that and then give us a call. We'll be happy to talk to you about it after the fact. I know it seemed kind of backwards, but you know, that's what they want us to do, so we have to comply with those requirements. You know, I want to go back to uh, the zero premium. Nothing in life is for free. One reason why these Medicare Advantage plans are taking off is because, in all honesty, if the government can screw up water being wet, it will do it. The government, Medicare, does a very lousy job of adjudicating claims. The insurance companies do a much, much better job. So there's much less fraud associated with the claims process with the Medicare Advantage plans than they are with Medicare, which is why the insurance companies under the Medicare Advantage plans basically take over the whole thing. This is one of the reasons why you can see a lower premium with a Medicare Advantage plan than the Medicare Supplement Separate Prescription Drug Card plan. So if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to give me a call. My number's here at the bottom of the screen. So what's going on here at the MLD agency? Well, last week we were able to enroll a family in their Medicare uh, supplement plan and their prescription drug card plan. And we also attended a couple of um, sales presentations with Ambetter and Blue Cross Blue Shield. So 
hope this finds you well. Until next week, take care and be safe.